Hello and welcome to Tech Cloud Solution where we help you master cloud certification. In this video, we will walk through the Microsoft EZ900 Azure Fundamentals exam questions with detailed mock test answers and explanations. Whether you are just starting your cloud journey or an IT pro brushing up on Azure, this exam walkthrough will sharpen your skills. Cloud certifications are more valuable than ever and AZ900 is the first step to landing high paying cloud jobs in 2025. Ready to boost your confidence? Stay tuned for the walkthrough. And don't forget you can visit Tech Cloud Solution for free PDF guide and practice mock test to ease your exam. Let's Question number 31. Exam note. This question requires you to evaluate the text inside to determine if it is correct. Role-based access control, RBAC, allows users only the rights they need to perform their jobs. Select no change needed if the above statement is correct, otherwise select the correct answer. The options are A. No change needed. B. Azure Security Center C. Azure Policy D. Compliance Manager. The correct option is A. Correct answer is Role-Based Access Control, RBAC. Role-Based Access Control provides fine-grained access management for Azure resources, enabling you to grant users only the rights they need to perform their jobs. Other options are not correct. Option Azure Policy is incorrect. Azure Policy helps to enforce rules at the resource group or subscription level. The policy can help to make sure that the organization standards are followed, but cannot be used to manage resource level permissions. Option Azure Security Center is incorrect. Azure Security Center is a monitoring service that provides threat protection across all of your services both in Azure and on-premises. Azure Security Center cannot be used to manage resource level permissions. Option Compliance Manager is incorrect. Compliance Manager is a workflow-based risk assessment dashboard within the Trust Portal that enables you to track, assign, and verify your organization's regulatory compliance activities. Question number 32. You wanted to simply use Azure as an extension of your own data center, not primarily hosting anything there but using it for extra storage or taking advantage of some services. What hosting model is that called? The options are A. Hybrid Cloud B. Public Cloud C. Private Cloud The correct option is Hybrid Cloud. Hybrid Cloud is a computing environment that combines a public cloud and a private cloud by allowing data and applications to be shared between them. In this scenario, you will be using your private data center for hosting applications and public cloud, Azure, for extra storage and other services, which is a suitable example of hybrid cloud. Question number 33. Which European nation has its own Azure region that is specifically set for strict adherence to data privacy standard, unlike any other region? Select the correct option. The options are A. UK B. Germany C. France D. Norway. The correct option is Germany. Microsoft Azure Germany is a cloud platform built on the foundational principles of security, privacy, compliance, and transparency. Azure Germany is a physically isolated instance of Microsoft Azure. It uses world-class security and compliance services that are critical to German data privacy regulations for all systems and applications built on its architecture. Other options are not correct as Norway, France, and UK. Regions use Azure public cloud offering. Question number 34. Your company plans to deploy several web servers and several database servers to Azure. You need to recommend an Azure solution to limit the types of connections from the web servers to the database servers. What should you include in the recommendation? The options are A. Azure Firewall B. Azure Traffic Manager C. Network Security Group NSG D. Application Security Group ASG The correct option is Network Security Group NSG. A Network Security Group NSG is a fundamental component for controlling network traffic in Azure. NSGs allow you to define rules that permit or deny incoming and outgoing traffic to specific resources, such as virtual machines, VMs, based on factors like IP address, port, and protocol. In this scenario, you could create an NSG for your database servers and configure rules that only allow connections from the IP addresses of your web servers on the necessary database ports, e.g., SQL Server on port 1433, MySQL on port 3306. Let's look at why the other options are less suitable for this specific requirement. A. Azure Firewall While Azure Firewall is a powerful network security service that can filter traffic at a much higher level of granularity and across multiple virtual networks, it might be overkill for simply limiting connections between web and database servers within the same or peered virtual networks. NSGs are often sufficient and more cost-effective for this kind of internal traffic control. B. Azure Traffic Manager 
Azure Traffic Manager is a DNS-based traffic load balancer that distributes traffic across multiple endpoints. It's used for improving application availability and responsiveness by routing user traffic to the most appropriate endpoint, not for limiting internal connections between servers. D. Application Security Group, ASG. Application Security Groups, ASGs, simplify network security configuration by allowing you to group virtual machines and define network security policies based on those groups, rather than individual IP addresses. While ASGs work in conjunction with NSGs and could simplify the management of rules, the core mechanism for limiting connections, defining allowed ports and sources, destinations, still lies within the NSG rules themselves. An ASG would be a good enhancement to an NSG-based solution for this problem, but the NSG is the direct tool for limiting connection types. The question asks for, what should you include in the recommendation, an NSG is the direct component that limits the connections. If ASG in conjunction with NSG were an option, it might be stronger, but given the choices, NSG is the most direct and fundamental answer. Question number 35. Exam note. This question requires you to evaluate the text inside to determine if it is correct. Microsoft Azure data centers are organized and made available by regions. Select no change needed if the above statement is correct. Otherwise, select the correct answer. The options are A. Availability sets B. Geography C. Zones D. No change needed. The correct option is no change needed. Microsoft Azure data centers are organized and made available by region. The region is a geographical area on the planet containing at least one, but potentially multiple data centers that are in close proximity and network together with a low latency network. Other options are not correct. Option geographies is incorrect. Azure divides the world into geographies that are defined by geopolitical boundaries or country borders. Azure geography typically contains two or more regions that preserve data residency and compliance boundaries. Option availability sets is incorrect. Availability sets ensure your application remains online if a high impact maintenance event is required or if a hardware failure occurs with 99.95%. Azure SLA. Availability sets are made up of update domains and fault domains. Option zones is incorrect. A zone is a geographical grouping of Azure regions for billing purposes. Below is the list of available zones. Zone 1 West US, East US, Canada West, West Europe, France Central, and others. Zone 2 Australia Central, Japan West, Central India, Korea South, and others. Zone 3 Brazil South. The Zone 1 Germany Central, Germany Northeast. Question number 36. You have an Azure environment that contains 10 virtual networks and 100 virtual machines. You need to limit the amount of inbound traffic to all the Azure virtual networks. What solution you will recommend, which is cost-effective and require less administrative effort? The options are A. One Network Security Group, NSG, B10 Virtual Network Gateways, C10 Azure Express Route Circuits. D. One Azure Firewall. The correct option is One Azure Firewall. The Azure Firewall grants server access based on the originating IP. Address of each request. You create firewall rules that specify ranges of IP. Addresses. Only clients from these granted IP addresses will be allowed to access the server. Azure Firewall provides many features, including built-in high availability, unrestricted cloud scalability, inbound and outbound filtering rules, Azure monitor logging. Other options are not correct. Option 10 Azure Express Route Circuits is incorrect. Express Route Circuit represents a logical connection between your on-premises infrastructure and Microsoft Cloud Services through a connectivity provider. Each circuit can be in the same or different regions and can be connected to your premises through different connectivity providers. Option 10 Virtual Network Gateways is incorrect. Virtual Network Gateway is used to send encrypted traffic between an Azure Virtual Network and an on-premises location over the public internet. It provides a more secure connection from on-premises to Azure over the internet. Option 1 Network Security Group, NSG, is incorrect. Network Security Group can perform this function but in this scenario, 10 virtual networks are involved. You can use one NSG for a single virtual network. You can filter network traffic to and from Azure resources in an Azure virtual network with a network security group. Looking to pass the AZ900?
1997. Your company has an on-premises network that contains multiple servers and plans to reduce the administrative responsibilities of network administrators by migrating several servers to Azure virtual machines. Identify which two administrative responsibilities will be reduced after the planned migration. The options are A. Replacing failed server hardware B. Updating server operating systems C. Backing up application data D. Managing physical server security E. Managing permissions to share documents the correct option is A and D. In this scenario, the company will be using VMs on Azure, which is the infrastructure as a service, IAAS, model. In an on-premises data center, you own the whole stack. As you move to the cloud, some responsibilities transfer to Microsoft. Other options are not correct. Option backing up application data is incorrect. It's the responsibility of Azure users to plan and configure solution which is highly available and backup data properly for disaster recovery. Option updating server operating systems is incorrect. In infrastructure as a service, IAAS, model, it's the responsibility of Azure users to timely update operating systems installed on virtual machines. Option managing permissions to share documents is incorrect. It's the responsibility of Azure users to manage permissions of infrastructure and documents and other content hosted on it. Question number 38. Which Azure storage option is better for storing data for backup and restore disaster recovery and archiving? Select the correct option. The options are A. Azure File Storage B. Azure Queue Storage C. Azure Blob Storage D. Azure Disk Storage The correct answer is Azure Blob Storage. Azure Blob Storage is your best option for storing disaster recovery files and archives. Question number 39. How can an organization ensure that certain VM workloads are physically isolated from workloads being run by other Azure customers? Select the correct option. The options are Run the VMs on Azure Dedicated Host this is not possible. These workloads need to be run on premises. Run the VMs on different availability sets. Configure the network to ensure that VMs on the same physical host is isolated. Correct answer is run the VMs on Azure dedicated host. On Azure, virtual machines, VMs, run on shared hardware that Microsoft manages. Although the underlying hardware is shared, your VM workloads are isolated from workloads that other Azure customers run. Some organizations must follow regulatory compliance that requires them to be the only customer using the physical machine that hosts their virtual machines. Azure Dedicated Host provides dedicated physical servers to host your Azure VMs. For Windows and Linux, other options are not correct. Option Configure the network to ensure that VMs on the same physical host is isolated is incorrect. You cannot control VMs placement, the only way is to use. Dedicated Hosts. Option This is not possible. These workloads need to be run on premises is incorrect. This is not true as Azure Dedicated Host provides dedicated physical servers to host your Azure VMs for Windows and Linux. Option Run the VMs on different availability sets is incorrect. Availability sets ensure your application remains online if a high impact maintenance event is required or if a hardware failure occurs. You cannot control VMs placement using availability sets. The only way is to use dedicated hosts. Question number 40. Which Azure resource can be configured to use Apache Hadoop? Select the correct option. The options are A. HD Insight B. Azure SQL Database C. Azure SQL Data Warehouse D. VNet Correct answer is HD Insight. Azure HD Insight is a fully managed, open-source analytics service for enterprises. It is a cloud service that makes it easier, faster, and more cost-effective to process massive amounts of data. HD Insight allows you to run popular open-source frameworks and create cluster types such as Apache Spark, Apache Hadoop, Apache Kafka.